Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Ookalee, ookalee, I'm so ready. Hey, you wanna, do you wanna tell the viewers about uh, the Christmas present I got you this year? Yeah, it was super cool. And actually, all my coworkers when they came over the other day, the, that, that'll be another story. But they all admired it. They're like, "This is cool," because they have switches too. Which uh -oh. brings me to the Christmas present. James got me this super awesome like charging stand for my uh, Nintendo Switch controllers. For and your Joy Cons. My Joy Cons. Um, um, it's actually really perfect because I have three sets of Joy Cons. Jen got me two sets for Christmas the previous year. But when I want to use them, I can only charge one at a time on my Switch. So uh, he got me that, which is crazy because if you, if I took you on a tour of my apartment, I have so much tech stuff, it's ridiculous. Oh yeah, it's um, like a freaking, it's like the year 3000 and X here. Yeah, wait, so I've done everything I can do on DK right now, right? Yep, you gotta be Diddy now. Sweet. Um, yeah, so the fact that James, and, and Jen can even attest this, when Jen tries to buy me Christmas presents, she has no idea what to get me because I just buy myself whatever I want. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, James somehow managed to find something I didn't have and was really, really into. And thanks, James, it was awesome. No problem, buddy. I, yeah, I, I was wondering myself, I was like, hmm. I mean, I guess I could get him something Lord of the Rings related. Yeah, that would be cool mm. too. But but I know that you're not really into collecting figurines or nope. stuff like that. See, good call. See, you know me. Yeah, and I, I know that like, if I were to get you a shirt, it'd be like, huh. <laughs> I was like, hmm. And Elliot buys his own shirts too. I'm pretty sure he knows exactly what he wants. I don't want to put money into a shirt that he ends up not liking that much. Sure. So, but then I remembered. Oh yeah, he actually needs a. Uh... Oops. Nope, you don't have enough coins still. Dang it. Okay. You gotta go swim in the water and get some. Oh yeah, baby. That's where they are, at least, I think. I'm eating nuts. Are you allergic to peanuts? Uh, no, I don't think so. Before I get on that topic, um, did you have more to say? Um, uh, oh, yeah, all I wanted to say was, yeah, no, I just, I happened to, uh, remember that you needed Joy-Con, and I was, I was in this Joy store chargers. in the gaming section, and I was like, oh! <gasps> <laughs> and it felt good to get that because it's like, yeah, it's just like that time Elliot got me the Zelda poster for Christmas because yeah. he remembered me saying I, I needed it, and now I remembered something he needed. It's crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, it was awesome. I love it. It's set up right now, and now when I have people over who want to play Mario Party or Smash or anything, I'm good to go. I can't be like, oh, this shit's not charged, so. That was the worst with the Wii. Like, you needed so many AA batteries. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I actually almost kind of wish that more consoles did that as an option. Like, you can have AA batteries, or you can recharge the controller. Yeah, I mean, what I what I ended up getting back in high school was uh, my, my dad got me a third-party charging battery kit for uh, the Wii. Okay. For, for the Wii remote, so you just put it, the charging battery in the back of the Wii remote, then put it in the charging dock, and it charges. Perfect. But, and but, then if for some reason you needed more, you could just take it out and put in normal batteries. Yeah. I, I just remember it stopped working after a while, and the battery charge kind of, I don't know. It was a third-party device, so, mm. eh. Whatevs. It's not we, like a... we can't learn any new moves for Diddy yet. The, this yes, one. you can. <laughs> oh, yep. really? Yep, you just gotta get some coins and go see Cranky. I just got three, but I kind of want to get the gun, too. Well, you can find other coins elsewhere, too. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's keep looking. Decisions, decisions. Because you, uh, you need both moves to get into the minecarts stage. Yeah, yeah, I, I just remembered that, because otherwise you can't go up the conveyor belts. Nope, nope, nope. Well, you can, but you're it's not It's just much to. harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, you need to hit switches, I think, with it. Oops. You know what they say, switches get bitches. <laughs> what? Um... Speaking of Switch, though, yeah, I had uh, I had a lot of my coworkers in town, as I mentioned in the last episode, including my boss, and I had them all over to play VR, because a lot of them have never used VR, and I have a Vive, and uh, it was a blast. Uh, a lot of them were, like, like, getting really into it, and they're having a lot of fun. Like, if you have VR, or if you're just around someone who has VR, it is so fun to, like, share that with somebody for the first time who's oh, yeah, never dude. tried it before. It will blow your mind. If you guys have never tried, like, a Vive, or an Oculus, or... PSVR or any of those things. Um, or a Microsoft HoloLens. Yeah, I recommend, yeah, you go into like a Microsoft store or something like that, because I think they have Vives in the Microsoft store. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oops. I can't use that, can I, the shortcut? Yeah, you can. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> and then we want to hit number two, I think. Uh, maybe? I don't remember. Oh, well. You, you got time. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I, I know. I get what you're saying. Like, it's it is very fun to experience it for the first mm -hmm. time, and yeah. getting to watch other people experience yeah, it too. It's like, yeah, fun. this is awesome. Yeah, my boss was way better than like myself <laughs> at all. He's playing some zombie shooter game, and he was like owning. Okay, well, what other VR games did you guys play? We played four VR games. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to like pay right down there. I'm really bad at multitasking. Really bad. Which reminds me of another story. Remind me of the multitasking story at university after this. It's okay, funny. okay. <laughs> okay, so we played four games. First, we started on... Uh... Um... Uh... Elliot bot malfunctioning short-term memory. I don't remember what game we started <laughs> with. Oh, yeah. Dude. Space Pirate Trainer. Oh, okay. Which it was one of my favorite games. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got enough coins to go get your gun from Funky. Mm hmm And all that is, is you stand on a platform and you shoot little robots out of the sky. Okay. Uh, it's pretty fun. Like drones, basically. <laughs> uh, second, whoa, eight? Look. We, uh, they played uh, Beat Saber, which I've never played. But I bought the night before because they said they were interested in it. Oh, so you so you watched your uh, coworkers play it? Yep. And then, and then they played To the Top, which is like this parkour game. My favorite like demo game. Oh yeah, I've played that here before. Yeah, you feel like you're falling and stuff. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's trippy. <laughs> and then, lastly, they wrapped it up with uh, a zombie game, Arizona Sunrise or Sunshine or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Good stuff. Well, you, you've had experience with Beat Saber, because you messaged me about it the other day. Yeah, you know, it's funny, um, <laughs> my experience with Beat Saber is a little bit odd. Um, mm -hmm. On, uh, so when I was in another state at my Nana's for celebrating Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, my sister's boyfriend, S, so he played uh, Beat Saber on his VR before he punched the TV. <laughs> uh. And uh, he, I, I saw him play it, I'm like, whoa, he's like, that's like DDR with lightsabers. Oh, that uh -huh. looks kind of cool. Um, it actually just came out on PlayStation, is my understanding. And then, uh, you gotta talk to Cranky now, I think. Uh, and then, oh wait, did you, no you didn't. I got my gun. So, um, on Christmas Day, when I came back to, you know, where I live, mm -hmm. I went to go see my mom for Christmas to celebrate it. Kind of a late Christmas celebration. I happened to be in a very shitty mood that day, because I'd spent so many days in a row just in the car, and in close proximity with my family. Yeah. When you spend that much time with your family, you start to get mad. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I love my family, they're awesome. Um, but you know, you need personal time. Definitely, After I feel a the while. same way. Whenever I go on a family vacation, it's like, no matter how great, how much you love your family, there, there's definitely too much time. <laughs> yeah, like after like the first few days, you start to think like, I need time to myself. So by the time I got back home and went to go hang out with my mom's side of the family for a late Christmas celebration, I was just in a really shitty mood that day. Mm -hmm. So I just went upstairs and laid in the guest room bed and just stared at the ceiling for an hour. Because <laughs> I just needed to unwind. And then I came downstairs and I could hear my mom screaming from downstairs because she was having so much fun playing Beat Saber. <laughs> Oh, nice. Because you, cause you have Right, you can bleep that, but... Because you have to, like, dodge the walls and stuff. Mm -hmm. So she was like... Ah! And S, S brought that over. Yeah, um, so they were having a lot of fun. But I came downstairs, and they were like, Come on, James, this will cheer you up. Play it. And I was just like, no. I was the exact opposite of how I generally am on Royal Games. It's... You're me. You're an old, old sea wench. I was just in a bad mood. I was just like, no. No, I don't want to play. Come on, play yeah. it. No. So I didn't. But then uh, a couple nights ago... Um, I, I saw my family again, and I finally played Beat Saber for the first time, and it was uh -huh. a lot of fun. Awesome. It was, I actually did really good mm. on my first try. I did hard mode on one of the songs. Yeah. And my dad, grandma, sister, and her boyfriend were watching me, and they were just like, whoa, holy crap. And I was like, wow. They were like, you did really good, James. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and, my, and my sister was like, well, yeah, of course he did good. Video games are his life, and he also has a very good sense of rhythm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, well, I can thank my dad for my good sense of rhythm. I can thank my virginity for my video games. Because <laughs> <laughs> my dad was a drummer back in high school. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's cool. Well, see, he's the kind of dude who always, like, taps, like, goes like... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just my when, whenever he's sitting down. Mm -hmm. My sister used to carry uh, drumsticks in her car, and she just, like hit her car steering wheel when she's at stoplights and stuff. She carried drumsticks in yeah, her car? Yeah, just for fun. That's awesome. Nah, that's pretty funny. Oh, that's sick, dude. Oh, 
Uh, yes, I want to try out Beat Saber, though, so we have the Vive half set up right now. All right. But I was going to say, on computer, it's supposedly a better experience than on PlayStation. One, because the Vive is, like, just a better general experience than the PlayStation VR. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it just runs better. But also, the computer version, you can download custom tracks that the community made. Oh, So you can okay. play, like, whatever you want. Like, uh, if someone made this song into a Beat Saber track, you can do it. Like, you can play PewDiePie's Bitch Lasagna song. <laughs> or you can play, um, I, I don't know. Black just, Betty. Yeah, I'm sure. If someone's made that, then you can play it. Or, like, you can play Star Wars music or whatever Sweet. you want. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Because you're playing with lightsabers. Yeah, pretty yeah. Much. I'm sure someone's made that. Like, Oh, yeah, they've had to. It's Beat Saber. Play like the the Imperial March, the yeah. Alright, so I guess it's time to go into the minecart section, right? Yeah. yeah. Next time on Royal Goobs, baby. Don't let me forget, I have an interesting story for you all next time on Royal Goobs. About how he's a fucking idiot in college. <laughs> I sucked too. <laughs>